Hey everybody, welcome to my updated video about how to find your Apple Watch. I made a video back in 2018 that showed the haptic trick and how to use the Find My iPhone app to locate your Apple Watch. But since then, the haptic menu has been changed and the Find My iPhone app has turned into a different app called Find My, which works a bit differently. Also, there's been some improvements and new ways to find your Apple Watch since then. So let's get to it. Finding your Apple Watch has actually gotten a bit easier in recent times. If you lost it around the house, or in Bluetooth range of your iPhone, you can simply ask Siri to find your Apple Watch and she will ping it for you. It makes the same sound the iPhone makes when you ping it from your Apple Watch. So if you lost it between the couch cushions or somewhere around the house, it's probably the easiest way to find your Apple Watch. However, if that method isn't working, or you don't have an internet connection to use Siri, you can use a variation of the old haptic feedback method to get your Apple Watch to make a sound to help you find it. Go to the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. On the main My Watch tab, go down and tap Sounds and Haptics. The third option down says Haptic Alerts. Every time you switch this option on or off, it makes your Apple Watch ping like you got a text message. This method will only work if your Apple Watch is connected to your iPhone via Bluetooth. So it's a good one for around the house or if it's not too far from you. And lastly, of course, there is the Find My app. This is great to use if you're not sure where you left it, especially if you think it was at a friend's place or somewhere away from home. This one can also be run from not only your iPhone, but pretty much any computer through iCloud.com. First, we'll go over how to use the Find My app on your iPhone. On your iPhone, run the Find My app and go to the Devices tab at the bottom. This will bring up a list with a map of all your Apple devices that can be tracked like AirPods, Macs, iPads, and your iPhone. On the list, choose your Apple Watch. If it has an active internet connection through either Wi-Fi or cellular, then it should show you where it is on a map and might even provide an address. One thing to bear in mind is that the address and exact location may not be completely correct all the time as it triangulates the position based on Wi-Fi networks and possibly cellular phone towers, depending on your Apple Watch model. When I use this feature on my Apple Watch at home, it often says it's one street over, but at least that should help jog your memory to help you find it. If you've lost it, you can remotely lock your Apple Watch and put it in lost mode. To do this, scroll down and tap the Activate link under Mark as Lost. Then it will take you to a screen that explains to you what will happen, that your watch will be locked, notify you if found, and even let you leave a message for the person that finds it if the watch can receive messages. Scroll to the bottom and choose Continue. You can choose to enter a contact number for the person who finds your Apple Watch. In this example, I'll use a generic number, 647-555-2424, then tap Next when finished, and you can enter the message for the person who finds it. Then when finished, tap Next. This brings you to the screen to verify everything. Then press Activate when ready. Now your Apple Watch will be locked and whoever finds your Apple Watch will see the message and number you left. When you find it, just put it on and press Unlock. Then tap in your passcode. In the Find My app, you will then be prompted to verify you found it by verifying your Apple ID. I found that this was a required step to allow my debit and credit cards to work again with Apple Pay. If you've lost your Apple Watch and it has sensitive information on it, you can also erase the device remotely by choosing Erase This Device. The Find My app also offers the option to manually ping your Apple Watch the way Siri does for you and also gives you the option to get directions to the location of your Apple Watch if you're not sure how to get there. The Find My app is quite powerful and very useful. You can also use all the same functions using the Find My iPhone app through logging into your iCloud.com account on iCloud.com. Once logged in, just choose the Find iPhone option. Then, in the center of the header, where it says All Devices, click it and choose your Apple Watch. And now, if you have a Mac that shares the same iCloud account as your Apple Watch, you can use the Find My Mac app as well. So there's lots of ways to access the Find My features. Your iPhone, Mac, or any computer that can go online and use the iCloud.com website. It's important to note that the Find My app and the other methods to find your Apple Watch electronically do require your Apple Watch to have battery power and a data connection, whether it be Wi-Fi, cellular, or Bluetooth. If the battery is dead or is not connected to the internet or your iPhone through Bluetooth, 
the Find My app will only be able to show you the last known location of your Apple Watch. So if your Apple Watch is turned off, or the battery is dead, it will not be able to show you the live location of your Apple Watch. In that scenario, the only way to find it would be the old-fashioned way, using your eyes, or possibly your hands down the sides of the couch cushions. Are there any tricks you use to find your Apple Watch that I didn't mention? If so, please share them with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.